Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. This is Sambo, and you're with myself and Blaze Purple here, looking very, well, very silly, actually, to be honest. <laughs> um, so we should probably do something about that. So let's have a look, um, because I think I've got some new gear recently. After a run through the Monarch, uh, Monarch, what is it? The Monarch Playing Card Factory. So we've got a few new items here, so this should be good. And in fact, I've noticed, if you notice, when I hover over them, uh, what do we got? Yeah, we've got two retro tech items, which is, if you've been watching my previous episodes, you know, is the look I'm going for at the moment. So that's going to be good. Plus, we've got a new insectoid um, head item there, uh, and oh, I think we've got a new belt. So no, wait a minute, that's actually a ring. Uh, so what does that have? 33 health, 8 precision, and 3 might. Right, actually I might swap it with this ring over here because that that ring requires the role of a tank. Which I'm not doing much these days, so let's put the blue ring on. So that'll be good. And now we can check out these new styles. So actually I've been looking forward to seeing what the full retro tech is. Uh, looks like but first of course we've got to see what the stats are and this one's going to give us 14 less health 21 less might but more power and more defense you know what I might actually equip them anyhow uh, and we'll check out the uh, style in a minute um, now as for the head that's definitely a better headpiece I think what have we got here la, 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 la. Okay, let's have a look at our. Uh, you know, though we've got a very cool purple epic item, which is Harley Quinn's um, masquerade mask. I think this one is better. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot better. Let's see, ten, minus 29 might. So this one does have a lot of might. Um, but defense, health, power, precision. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Well, let's equip this anyway, so that we get the style. And what was it? That's head. In fact, here's another headpiece, which of course is the insectoid look. Um, and that's just saying that if we uh, equip this, we won't be able to trade it anymore. So it basically binds to me. But I'm going to put on. Yeah, gosh, it's hard to know which one to actually wear. I think we'll um, equip that one for now. Yep. But, the exciting part, let's go in and have a look if we can get ourselves a retro tech outfit. So, there we go. I now, oh, in fact, we've got Insectoid is new. Oh, now that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that on the YouTube video. Let's hop back out here and maybe if I get myself up against a wall. Um, you'll be able to, no, I'm too close, be able to see that there. It's pretty awesome looking. It's got sort of big black goggly googly eyes with mandibles coming down. I must say that's an awesome, definitely an awesome headpiece that is. Uh, right, anyway, that's not what we're doing. We are trying to get to retro tech. So what's, oh, I like that. It's very, <laughs> very retro. Um, that's cool. We might keep... Oh, actually the glowing eyes get hidden by the mask, so we won't have to worry about the eyes. Let's see, shoulders... We have retro tech shoulders. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, that's what it looks like. Um, emblem doesn't matter. Hands, we've got retro, retro tech hands. Waist, we have retro tech. Oh, this is looking good. Um, what was that? I flicked past it. Feet! Retro tech feet. Good, good, good. Do we have... Oh, we have a retro tech chest. Gosh, we might actually be able to make up the whole thing. We've got legs. Oh, I like them. I don't know if you can see them, but they're kind of... In fact, yeah, let's hop back out. Yeah, look at that. They're really... Come on. Really old school. You know what? I'm liking this outfit. It's, it's black, shiny, purple... Wow, that is so cool. Oh, and the world's shutting down in 30 minutes. Dear, oh dear. And also, that's our guild member saying g'day. Come on. Uh, 
There we go. Yes, it's, he's saying, "Oh, what a what a bugger! Why, why can't I bring my chat up?" It's, that's silly. Server shutdown. That's right. Um, wow, I really like this outfit. Let's see if we've got any more parts. What did we get up to? We got up to the legs. Legs, 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 back. I don't know if there's a retro tech back. No. So we'll just keep the snake one that I've got at the moment. Keep that for now. Skin and primary whip. So actually all I'm missing is... Is a retro tech back if there is one. I'm not even sure that there is a is a cape for that, but uh, never fear. That is um, one very cool outfit. I like that. I like that a lot. That's good. All right. Uh, what do I want to do? I just want to quickly nip to the vendor. Anything and just... in particular you're interested in purchasing today? I uh, just sell off some stuff. Let's see what do we got. Uh, actually, you know what? I can't remember what I didn't need anymore. So maybe I won't won't sell them until I know what I'm doing. But one thing I do know that we need to do now is assign some power points and some skill points because we've got them. So of course we're going to use them. Um, now, let's see, what do we got here? Hand blaster, we're... Uh, the only thing is, yeah, with the hand blaster, we're down to the passives. So I might actually pop that particular point into movement. Although, I haven't had much joy with many of the movement skills yet, but... What does that do? Permanently increased statistics, adds 10% stun. Ah, oh, see, these are all down to passives now as well. Uh, we've got that one, low pressure, I don't think we can take those ones yet, um, well gee, that, you know, look at that, that's a good one, restraint recovery allows you to, and that's a passive, allows you to recover 75 power over 10 seconds when you use breakout on a root or encasement effect, okay, so, um, yeah, very interesting. Okay, now what? Where is? Uh, this keeps making reference to breakout. Breakout mastery. Oh, these, you know, it could be good. You know, I might. I might actually put a point in there, to be honest, just so that we can drill down into these um, power regions. Oh gosh, you know, it's so hard, isn't it? We're trying to decide what to choose. La 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 la. la. No, look, maybe actually for now I am better off putting a, a passive, something a bit more generic. So we've got like uh, boost might at 20, critical healing we don't care about. Really increase health by 15, dominance or might. I do a bit of beating up, so perhaps, perhaps we'll we'll, we'll put some um, points into might. Go on, there we go. Done. Can't do anything about it now. Now let's have a look at these powers. And of course, if you've been watching my earlier episodes, you'll know that I got given advice to get this reignition, which is a supercharge, 50% supercharge cost, ignites nearby enemies while instantly restoring some portion of your health and. Uh, we'll grab that. One of uh, my viewers um, suggested that it sometimes gives him up to 50% health. Now, I'm not going to complain about that, I'll tell you right now. Um, so, oh gosh, we're really starting to get a lot of a lot of abilities here, aren't we? Alright, what do I need? Oh, see, I have to replace it with something. Maybe it's a heal... Okay, let's go from the start. I've got my consume objects, which is also a heal. Well, that doesn't heal me that much, but it doesn't have a supercharge cost. See, decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, summons lightning to heal you. Yeah, I like that one. Maybe I'll get rid of my volcano for a bit, just to test. Uh, although you all know how much I like my volcano. Um, we'll test out 
this one um, and see what happens. Now, now let's see. One of the guildies here, um, Magus, is saying, oh, he got one of the coolest items from a vault earlier. Oh, I've heard about this. It's called a Kryptonian Bouncy Sphere. It's a trinket that lets me create a giant bouncy ball to throw around. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, and that's, uh, I think Roman Over got one of those as well. Great that there's some, um, like, basically toy items in this game. Just items for no apparent reason. Do like that. Um, and in fact I'm waiting to get something called transform or an illusion, I can't remember what it's called out of the vault where you actually shapeshift as well um, just saying here the vault has a lot of good stuff alright so now we're in our, you know I think I look like a mighty Morphin Power Ranger to be honest but anyway <laughs> Let's pick ourselves up a quest that we've got to hand in. That one will do. And we'll give up, punk. Hey. You will be apprehended. You ain't getting me. Good. Good lord. An escaped prisoner in the Gotham City Police Department. Just as well your friendly Blaze Purple superhero was here to help sort out all the wrongs and save the day. Yeah, something like that. All right. Hello, Wonder Woman. So, it's the mighty Morphin Power Ranger off to hand in a quest. Assuming that we actually load in. There we go. All right. Which direction do we have to head in? That direction. You know, we haven't done a race for a while either. Maybe if we come across one on the way uh, to this Handon, I could give you some entertainment by attempting to do a race, because we all know how good I am at them. Oh, look at that. Look at that building. Look at the lighting on it. Look how tall it is. Good Lord. Bowery. Not sure. Oh, is that a race over there? It is. You know what that means. We're going to do it. Time to have a laugh at my expense. And it seems to be perched on the end of this crane. It's a pretty cool place to put it. Alright, let's see what level it is. Oh, it's adept. Um, I think that means it's really hard. <laughs> Five, four, oh boy. three, two, one, go. Here we go. And they're off. We're off to a good start. It can only mean bad things are going to happen, I'd imagine. Whoa! Jeez, I'm not even super speeding it, and that was a really tight turn. Oh, lost already. Did I get that one? Yep. Oh, just fluked that one in by the skin of my teeth. Myself a bit of a boost. Which is probably a bit cheeky because I'll probably boost, oh, 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 boost past something I need to, of course, which is what has happened in the previous races that we've done. But hey, oh, oh, that was a tight one. Oh, and of course I forgot when you point straight down, you actually speed up, because there are physics in the game. So that's something to bear in mind if you're doing these ones. Oh God, there's a collectible. Oh, you know, I think they deliberately do that because they know that you're going to want to stop and pick that up rather than carry on the race. That's so mean, seriously, especially for people like me who are compulsive collectors. Well, I'm not doing too bad, although I don't want to speak too soon. Oh, crap. Crap. Knew that would happen. Oh, and now I'm all over the... Oh, I'm boosting. I'm... Oh, I'm just... <laughs> what am I... What was that? That was just absolutely shocking. I don't know. I have no clue what happened there. I think my finger slipped on the... Blah, on the... Oh, God. On the boost button. And my now my... Oh, now my mouse is flicking around all over the... Oh, this is terrible. Oh, dear. Oh, no, it was the finish line. And I got... 
Oh my god, I actually got a silver. That's better than I thought I would. Oh dear, oh dear. Always entertaining. Thank you, Wayne Tech Industries, in the background there. Okay, um, Amagus is saying apparently the servers are only going to be down for around an hour or so. Um, and uh, yeah, that's good because they're normally only a bit of a maintenance restart. Alright, now that I've made a complete idiot out of myself, uh, we'll head over to this quest turn-in. Although I do see another race. Maybe, <laughs> maybe for, again, for your viewing pleasure only. It's, yeah, go on, let's do another one. Oh, why the hell not? Besides, you know what, we get achievements for, uh, oh, it's another adept one, God. Five. Four, um, three, two, one, go. We get achievements for completing all of them, so you know it is actually worthwhile. Oh, don't speed up! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. That's that. Okay, that was really tough. You know, uh, I, I've issued this challenge before, and I'm going to do it again. If any of you guys out there can do any of these um, races that I'm doing in what the what, oh in platinum um, then you'll absolutely get a shout out from me because these are really tough they really are I mean granted I'm talking at the same time and my mouse is spazzing out sometimes must get myself a new mouse actually um, but still they're rough they're really rough um, and in fact that was one thing I was thinking of if any of you guys out there oh, look at that scenery isn't it isn't it just gorgeous um, if any of you guys out there are playing this with a controller or of course on the PS3 version um, let me know what the races are like on a controller because you know one would expect it to be somewhat easier on a mouse and keyboard and I'm telling you it's not easy at all uh, what what the where did the bloody thing go? Oh, look at that. Oh, and I'm trapped on the scenery. I'm... Oh, that was a really rough one. Gee, these adept challenges are tough. I mean, I can't imagine anyone ever doing them with their super speed boost on. That's, that's for absolute sure. Uh, but like I say, if you can or, or believe you can attempt to do it, feel free to... Um, or feel free to either um, give us your time in the comments on the video or make a video yourself doing it. Oh, back through these things again. All right, there's a chance for a bit of a zoom, I reckon. There we go. What did I get? Oh, bronze. What's the time required? Is 1 minute 57. Good Lord. Anyway, let's get to handing. Oh, and look, there's another, <laughs> another race off in the distance there. Now, this is definitely an area of Gotham that I'm not 100% familiar with, by the way. Um, so we'll have to come back here and explore at some point. Um, there's the green. We have been to the greenhouse there, but yeah, getting over to this area is a bit new. And I think there's yeah, there's the quest quest giver over there where we were handing in. My new outfit in this different. Yeah, that's that's a very cool. I, I really like that. I really do. Ah, excellent. Hopefully, your findings will lead to some interesting results. Well, I hope so too. But all I really care about is that you gave me XP. To be honest, but that's okay. Um, where else can we head to around here? Then Metropolis. Uh, la, 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 la. Looking for some quests. Got a lot of wanted quests there that I have to clean up, which I haven't done. Naughty, naughty me. Um, playing with a full deck. What's this? Find and collect aces hidden in the. Oh, you know, that's in the playing cards factory where we were last time in the story quest. Um, and I didn't finish the quest. Uh, the quest to complete all of the. Playing cards don't ground me! Do not ground me! Let me go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, so, maybe that's what I should do because even though we've completed the story instance, as you should know by now, it doesn't mean that you're 
um, over and done with in terms of being able to run the actual instance at any time that you like um, which is oh and there's a collectible which is as I've said time and time again is one of the great features of this game because some of the runs are so much fun you want to do them again All right, that looked like a street sign um, collectible. This is a cool area. You know, I haven't. I don't think I've been here before. Um, actually, maybe instead of going in and doing that quest, because we're probably running out of time, uh, my videos seem to be getting longer and longer. Maybe I should test the new heel. Actually, yeah, let's do that instead. So I'm sorry if I um, got your hopes up for going into the instance there although if you want to see it just um, watch yesterday's episode and you'll see plenty of the playing card factory uh, in action there so let's find some mobs um, and build up my superpower and see if we can check out this new heal to close off this episode Hopefully I don't get killed this time. Good old soccer kick. Fiery ball of soccer kick. That is. Alright, so my superpower is almost halfway there. Remembering of course that this particular one... Um, this particular... Um, ability only requires 50% of my superpower so even though we're going right round if you can see the icon number six on the bottom there even though that's going full circle that's actually only representing 50% of my supercharge ability all right yeah he's one of those wags And yes, I know I'm spamming an ability, <laughs> but it was working. So you can call me cheap all you like, at least I'm alive. Especially with these wag things. Alright, we've nearly got it. Alright. Now, and I don't think this part will be very hard. I need to let myself get beaten up a bit. So, come on. Beat me up. Alright, so I'm down to half health. Let's see what my new ability does. Tell me if Whoa! This one okay. Well, the YouTuber was right because you know what? That pretty much took me back up to up to full health. You know, that is a great ability. Plus, it had a knockback. I think. Uh, so anyway, let's try that one more time because I might be able to get rid of my ability that's on my number one slot which is this which as you know is a bit of a well it's actually not a knockback I don't think it basically sucks the energy out of the mobs around and heals me for a teeny bit yes we remember you you can come and no, in fact I'm gonna give you some laser eyes that's what you're gonna get there you go He's got some nasty attacks, that one. Alright, we're nearly there again, because what we want to do is see if this has got a knockback. And if it has, I'm going to replace my, yeah, number one ability for sure. Because it doesn't seem to be taking that long to build this up, which is good. Alright, I'm actually going to need the heal in a minute. Alright. Here it comes. Now let's see if it knocks him back. It does! Okay. And it gave me about half health. So, you know what? That's great. That's a replacement for number one. I need some soda. Because I've probably bitten off more than I can chew, which is nothing unusual for me. <laughs> oh, and look at that spoken just at the right time and in fact that's probably a good place to leave because we've got 10 minutes until shutdown so we'll um, escape out of here we'll change up my skills 
Uh, with K, let's go to the loadouts, go to damage. Um, I'm going to put my volcano back if I can find it. Where is the volcano? I'm pretty sure it's that one. Put volcano back on number six because we can't have blaze purple without a fiery volcano. And instead of this consume objects, we're going to use reignition on number one. So I'm pretty happy with those changes. So there we go, a little bit of um, roaming around in Gotham with some races and testing out some new abilities. And of course some uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger outfits with epic music. So I <laughs> hope you enjoyed that little episode in Gotham City. Um, and this is Sambo and Blaze Purple saying take care and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.